Good evening. Um, it's again time for our daily uh, two-minute Bible reading and thought. I'm going to read uh, from uh, the letter of John, the first John, the uh, second ch uh, chapter, the 15th verse. Do not love the world, nor the things in this world. <laughs> May the Lord add a blessing to the word. Now, you know, the things of this world can give us a lot of happiness and pleasure and all that kind of good stuff. Our houses, our cars, our jobs, all those things. The scripture doesn't tell us that we can't have those things and we can't enjoy those things. But the scripture tells us, let's put things in their proper place. Uh, there's a skit. I don't know if you remember, uh, if you're of the older set, like myself, you're going to remember old Jack Benny. He, he was known as the skinflint, the penny pincher. <laughs> Here's this one skit where he's walking down the street and this mugger comes up and puts a gun in his back and says, your money or your life. <laughs> and Jack just stands here. And he says a second time, your money or your life. And Jack gives that pose of his that he always gave when he's thinking. And he still didn't say anything. And the mugger said a third time, your money or your life. And Jack says, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we, we go, wow, that's ridiculous. Nobody would do that. But, you know, we can, um, we can love the things and the material things of this world so bad that we allow the loss of a job or the loss of an automobile or the loss of a house, the loss of this or a loss of that. Something material can make us bitter and angry and unpleasant people. It can change our character if we allow it. But what we really have to remember, there isn't anything in this whole world that we can't live without except one another. And that's where our love has to be, for one another. A love that is God's love and a love that is shared with one another. That's my thought for tonight. May God bless us. Amen.